This video will overview some of the key components of Planet Nine and illustrate how they interact with each other. To begin, at the core of Planet Nine, we have the apps. Planet Nine provides components to create and manage applications, the most utilized being the App Designer. The App Designer is an integrated, low-code development environment. It utilizes drag-and-drop functionality for creating applications, supports version management, language translations, and high charts. To complement this tool is the App Editor, which is for developing applications in React.js and Vue.js. Planet9 integrates with MPM modules, allowing them to be downloaded and utilized within the App Editor and within server scripts. Server scripts are used to extend your instance beyond standard configurations. With a script, you may automate processes, add functionality, integrate your instance with outside applications, run process-intense activities in the background, and more. The App Designer can consume and trigger these server scripts. Planet9 provides a script scheduler tool for creating, scheduling, monitoring, and maintaining logs for jobs running scripts in the background. In Planet9 version 2.1.1, we introduced the low-code PDF designer. Here you can create PDFs that reflect your own brand and your technical requirements with the familiar drag-and-drop functionality. The workflow designer is a tool designed to facilitate and automate processes that require tasks to be performed by people. Workflows integrate with and can trigger server scripts. These workflows can also be consumed by apps. To support these tools, Planet9 has a number of resources. One of the most powerful is the API Designer. The API Designer in Planet9 provides a graphical user interface for the creation and configuration of API definitions. The API Designer makes it easy to define and update an API. It makes APIs reusable for many applications. These APIs integrate with the App and PDF Designer, as well as with server scripts. Complementary to the API Designer is an API client which allows testing the response of a REST API. The API client is used to send calls to the API server to get an output and then logs the response. Planet9 also supports Swagger UI which lets you visualize and interact with the API's resources without having any of the implementation logic in place, making it easy for backend implementation and client-side consumption. The API Trace Utility is an application that lets you monitor the API calls made by applications on the server. The API Designer supports SSL certificates and several security protocols, BASIC, OAuth 2.0, SAP principal propagination, and token-based authentication. Planet9 supports the REST-based open web protocol OData, which is used for sharing data in a standardized format for easy consumption by other systems. It uses web technologies like HTTP and JSON. The Planet9 store offers a portal to publish or download applications within the platform. You can publish a new application to the store or use the growing number of available applications, frameworks or building blocks available in the store today within your own development. The media library is a component to store various media files in one place and use them whilst configuring cockpit components and building applications in the app designer. On Planet9, the media library supports all types of files such as images, splash screens, icons, documents, videos, and audio files. Planet9 has its own database resources too. The table definition utility allows you to define a table schema and metadata. Here you can create and maintain database tables. You can import database schema from external sources and automatically generate REST APIs from table definitions to use in the app designer. Complementary to this is the table browser which is used to view the table data and allows you to add, delete and update the data records. The tables can be consumed by the API designer or by server scripts. Planet9 allows you to create email, 
and notification templates and layouts, which can be consumed by server scripts or within a workflow. To utilize all these resources and tools which allow you to create apps within the platform, the Planet9 Launchpad is a shell that hosts Planet9 apps and provides the apps with services such as navigation, personalization, embedded support, and application configuration. The Launchpad is the responsive entry point to Planet9 apps on mobile and desktop devices. The Launchpad displays a home page with tiles or cards, which can display live status indicators, such as the number of open tasks. Each card represents a business application that the user can launch. These cards can be assigned to groups, which can then be assigned to launch pads to be displayed. A native mobile client is a mobile version of a launch pad that can be built using Cordova CLI. Progressive web apps are also fully supported by Planet9. These applications can be saved on desktops and mobiles like native Android or iOS apps. PWAs work offline, giving the user app functionality even without an internet connection. The theme designer is an editor to customize the look and feel of your development by changing the color scheme, fonts, and backgrounds with live preview for the customized theme. These themes can be applied to individual apps or to an entire launchpad. The translation tool allows you to translate tiles and tile groups fields in a launchpad automatically. This integrates with Google Translate. You can provide documentation and descriptions for each of your applications with our documentation app. You can even create a guided tour, which is especially useful for new users to learn about your application's workflow. Managing access controls for the users is necessary to ensure that only authorised users can access the Planet9 resources. Access controls manage the users of the system by granting the users access to certain components of Planet9. Alongside access to parts of the platform, users can be assigned access to individual launchpads, mobile or progressive web apps. The launchpad is role-based, displaying tiles or groups according to the user's role. The users can come from several sources. The first are local users set up directly within Planet9. SAML 2.0 and LDAP is supported, along with the ability to import LDAP users. Planet9 also supports external users through Azure Active Directory, JSON Web Tokens, and OAuth2. Users can be assigned to groups, and groups can be assigned roles. Users can also be assigned roles on an individual basis. These groups and roles allow users to access the correct parts of the platform or specific launchpads or apps. Planet9 offers administrative tools to manage and control the platform. The remote systems component allows the platform to connect to other instances. The monitor overview component displays the currently running processes in the system. You can restart them, add a new process or delete them. System settings contain several configurable parameters to allow the platform to operate in any server environment. A performance measurement tool allows you to see how the server and APIs are performing. You can load test the server to ensure it has sufficient performance. The system log component generates logs for all system errors, warnings, user locks due to failed login attempts, and process messages. Also within the platform are a number of help utilities, from links to community pages and the explored environment, to embedded documentation throughout each part of the cockpit. 